Hilauea on Hawaii's Big Island, one of the world's most active volcanoes, is erupting again. Red lava plumes and waves of volcanic gas have begun erupting from Kilauea on Hawaii's Big Island, one of the world's most active volcanoes. The eruption at Halamaumau Crater inside Kaluapele, Kilauea's summit caldera, that began at 2.20 a.m. Hawaiian Standard Time this morning, December 23rd, has continued for most of the day inside a closed area of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. There is no immediate threat to human life or infrastructure, but the level of volcanic gas emissions is extremely high. Webcam imagery and field crew observations show lava continuing to flow from a vent in the southwest part of the caldera with new lava covering about 650 acres, including all of Halamaumau and most of the nearby fallen blocks. The area covered so far is a little over one square mile, 2.6 square kilometers, and represents about a quarter of the area of Kaluapele. The lava was estimated to be about 1 yard, 1 meter, thick, giving an estimated average effusion rate of 110 cubic yards per second, 85 cubic meters per second, during the first eight hours of the eruption. The initial height of the eruption was estimated to be about 260 to 300 feet, 80 to 90 meters, and had decreased to about 55 yards, 50 meters, by 1 p.m. the powerful eruption produced a plume of gas and volcanic particles that was carried southwestward over the closed area of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. These conditions prevented measurements of SO2 emission rates by normal methods, but a nearby monitoring station estimated over 100,000 tons of SO2 per day by about 8 a.m. and had decreased by half by the afternoon. These estimates are similar to values measured in the early stages of previous summit eruptions in the past four years. By about 3 p.m. today, the slope at the summit ceased to show deflation and seismic vibrations began to decrease. By 3.30 p.m., the lava flow was barely visible. By 4 p.m., the eruption had ceased and seismicity was approaching background levels. Visible volcanic gas emissions had also decreased significantly. These observations indicate that the eruption has slowed significantly and appears to be entering a lull. HVO continues to monitor Kilauea closely and will issue an update on the eruption tomorrow morning unless significant changes occur overnight. HVO remains in close contact with Hawaii Volcanoes National Park and the Hawaii County Civil Defense Agency. Kilauea Volcano Alert Level, Aviation Color Code remains at watch, orange. All current and recent activity is within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. No changes have been detected in the East Rift Zone or Southwest Rift Zone. The eruption is confined to the volcano's summit caldera, in a remote and enclosed area of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, the Hawaii Volcano Observatory reported. The increase in seismic activity began around 2 a.m. local time, and within about half an hour, Webcam images began showing lava emerging through cracks in the caldera erupting like fountains. A live stream of the eruption, broadcast by the U.S. Geological Survey on Monday, showed a plume of hot lava shooting upward, followed by a plume of gas and ash that rose as high as 260 feet 80 meters, in the early hours of the morning. The lava was coming out at a very rapid rate, as is typical at the beginning of these eruptions, Ken Hun, scientist in charge at the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, said during the USGS livestream.